Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow up on 130, Nasdaq's up 38, S&P's up 11. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And folks, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, he's gonna be doing an outstanding workshop for all his subscribers this coming Tuesday night. You can be a subscriber right here, right now. Uh, the way that you do this, you go over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see right in the front page, you're going to see our featured content, the opening call. You hit the opening call right there. You subscribe to his newsletter. You can subscribe for a month, six months, or a year. Bottom line comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You have absolutely nothing to lose, everything to gain. Basil is going to be doing a workshop for his subscribers. What's next for the market? December 4th. 5 to 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. So let's talk about what, we're gonna be, what you're going to be talking about uh, Tuesday night. It's a couple of things. Because it's the end of the I kept thinking Monday was the end of the month. Of course, this is the end of the week and the end of November. I know. Candle, how cool so is that, getting, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's one more month, and then we're into 2019, as you were saying. Wow, that was quick. Seriously. So what I'm going to be talking about, the topics, it's really an overall topic, but essentially what I'm looking at is I want to give subscribers, we're already starting to prepare for it, what I expect going into the end of the year and early next year. This is going to be very important because we've had sectors that have had two, three-year runs to the upside, fantastic moves. Will they now take a breather and other areas start to come? You were talking about rates, interest rates just a moment ago. Well, does that give an opportunity to some areas? And that's really what we're going to talk about. So sectors that should rally, which ones are weak, stocks to consider, and levels to watch on each index. I'll just briefly, I don't want to spend too much time on the actual Chapman Wave because I do that every single day for subscribers sure. to my newsletter. So this is going to be uh, really a, a projection of, what I'm anticipating. I'm also going to include the socioeconomic aspect. I'm getting emails all day just telling me about what's going on, the new Mercedes uh, AG, this, the, the incredible, um, the socioeconomic aspects are very important. For instance, uh, there's, there's now a car that's being advertised. It's incredible because it has 16 cup holders. Well, do you need 16 cup holders? <laughs> so there's, a, <laughs> so there's a period of excessivity. I remember talking about exactly that. I think it was the, the Cadillac Escalade in the year 2000. I said, uh-oh, there's one of my icons. Yeah. When excessive, excessivity becomes really redundant, it's just, do you need 10? It was 10, I believe, at that time for the Cadillac Escapade, a huge car. A vehicle, actually, it was a S, the first real SUV. It was really a wagon, a Chevy that was uh, all the accoutrements turned it into a, to a Cadillac. So this is really the period, this, this coming period over the next year, year and a half, really important as far as I'm concerned. So sectors, what levels to watch, which sectors are, are we? You know that we are still, there are still stocks that are making uh, uh, VMware. There are a couple of stocks right now oh, that yeah, are making all-time all -time highs. highs. Right, right. All-time highs. So you don't want to ignore that. And that tells you that this is a very selective market now, that the leadership might be that certain stocks in certain sectors continue, but not the whole sector. So we're going to be discussing that. And then what's nice about this gives me time because I'll have the candle of November. We'll have the first trading day of December. We'll know some of the results of over the weekend. You know that, that Trump wants to have some kind of negotiation. He needs it politically right now. So I think, you know, it won't be as bad as people think. I think there'll be some pleasant surprises. And then there'll be, as we read into it, perhaps later in the week, we'll see that there's some negative surprises. Not the issue. What's working now? Uh, you've got the semiconductor index that's been hammered. Intel suddenly has been doing very well. So there are selective stocks. We're going to be looking at those. Hour and a half we'll have, and I think it's going to be timely, and I'm really looking forward to it. Tuesday the 4th at 5 o'clock till 6.30 p.m., Eastern time. And folks, the way you do this, you just come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, you're going to see right on the front page, okay? You're going to see uh, featured content. Uh, as you go into featured content, you're going to see the... Well, where am I going? There we go. You're going to see... Um, where, there we go. You're going to see the opening call. You can take the opening call. Uh, you subscribe. You can subscribe for a month, six months, a year. Bottom line, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Uh, you're going to get a great newsletter, and then you're going to get a great workshop by a man, Mr. Basil Chapman. 
coming this uh, Tuesday night. Uh, it's going to be from 5 to 6 30 Eastern Standard Time. And what, what, there's no doubt what's so cool is that you got the end of the month, you got the weekend um, meeting uh, um, already in the bag, uh, so we'll know where that baby goes, and then uh, we, we see how this is going to shake out. Uh, and one of the things that's happened is that we've been long a couple of times the Dow, and we're long at this particular moment, and it just made a new recovery high, so it gives us a bit of a cushion up 168 if there are negative actions over the weekend because we got in early on the last one was right at the low yesterday so we've got a bit of a cushion so those are the things i'm going to be talking about how, how are we going to plan for it how you can start getting in looking at longer term portfolios it's going to be fascinating folks check it out right in the front page of tfnn basil you have a great weekend safe weekend of course we look forward to the show monday we look forward to the webinar tuesday night thank you very much tom have a great week have a great one have a safe one